Right, hi folks. <laughs> I'm out in the wind and the rain. There's some heavy showers on and off today. I've already been out this morning and did a YouTube short. And this time I've got my microphone rigged up. I don't honestly know how this will come out. We'll find out. Um, I've got an action camera which will record audio and I might use that for some background sound. Got to concentrate here, there's a big hump in the road. I've got a lav mic kind of under my coat. Yeah, it's under my coat to keep it dry. It's got a wind thing in me bob on it as well. This is uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm still recovering from cycling earlier. It hardly rained when I was out earlier. It did just a little bit, but it was mostly just windy. And it's worse now, I think. Which well, raining harder and harder. It's pretty windy. just sticking on local roads. I was going to go to the seafront promenade because I doubt there's going to be anyone there, but I've got to get there. <laughs> and I don't want to go on the main road to get there. This is hard work, you know, this cycling lot. Which way am I going to go? Go this way. Every time I hear a car behind me, I get nervous. So there's one behind me right now who probably wants to get past. Oh, it's getting windier and windier. Oh, you go past me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's good. Gave me loads of room. They're going nice and slow. Oh, hang on. Which way do I go here? Um, if I go straight on, it's a dead end. It goes to a park. It's Musebrook Park in Little Hampton, if you know the area. Um, you're not supposed to cycle through it, everyone does, but I don't intend to, only just this very end part. And only because I cannot imagine there's going to be many people there. I'm doing this really to test out the equipment and uh, try and get the best method of recording with this microphone so I can ooh, talk while I'm riding. See, it says no cycling. Everyone cycles through here, but it is confusing because at the other end of the park, like the, the bottom entrance, there's a sign saying bridle way, which also is a, means it's a cycle route. But the thing is, what people don't seem to realize is that the bridleway then continues along a footpath. It only goes into the park for a few meters. But when it's this empty, I'm not too bothered. As long as I keep out of people's way. Um, now this will head up to the seafront. I don't know, it looks really bad. I'm not sure about this. That gate's not normally open, so that was handy. Now, I did do this route earlier. What I'm finding with this bike is that even the smallest of hills, I would barely even notice walking, are really quite tough when you're riding. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's getting windier and windier. Wow. I can, I can hardly move. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got my lights on. Everything I've got is waterproof, but this will be a real test of that. All right. 
I'm just going to stop here <laughs> so I can breathe. Oh dear, wow, it's really rough. So that's the prom opposite and I can cycle along that. But I'm going to wait till I can't see a car for a thousand miles. <laughs> Hopefully nothing will come up behind me. There's no way I'm turning onto the road. I'm just going to go straight to the path opposite. Okay, I might go after this car. No, I'll wait for the next one. I could pull away quick. I'm in a low gear, but no, I just don't feel comfortable yet. Right, let's go. Oh, oh my goodness. This is about where I fell off just after buying this bike. Right, I'm on the prom. My blood will still be visible. Actually, it's probably washed away by now. Have a look. Where did I come off? Oh, I think I've gone past it, actually. Oh, it was around here anyway. And there was four spots of blood on the path for about a week afterwards. But it must have gone by now. Well, this is fun. It's the second time riding with my bike computer. It's very small, the display on this, but it's all right, actually. I thought it would be too small, but it's not. The way it's mounted is pretty close to me. Where's the jogger going to go? You say that side, please. I prefer to go on the left. It feels more natural, but it doesn't really matter. I think for other cyclists, I'll, I'll try and stay on the left, even on a cycle path, but for people, just go wherever they're not. Yeah, this is quite fun. I hope you can hear me. But if not, this will be a good test of things. When I used to speak while walking, I would have a microphone in a similar position and it makes my voice quite muffled, but I can in the heart and sitting post but I'm not sure about now other rides I've done recently I've showed the view in front of me as well but I, honestly I don't think I really want to stop to turn the camera so this should go on my explore with Jeff YouTube channel Am I going to make it more of a cycling channel? I don't know. I mean, I'm very new to cycling. Very, very new. I can barely go five miles so far. I'm pretty nervous, especially after falling after um, four days having the bike. going to get stronger now the wind did earlier when I did this past the beach chaps they probably blocked the wind partially I can feel that I'm cycling into it um, I'm only doing eight and a half miles an hour be nice to have a camera showing that at the same time but uh, I need all sorts of cameras don't I I need this main one, I've only got the one showing me. I need a real one. I need one looking ahead and one looking at the speedo and the distance. Oh, it's raining harder. I don't have the right clothes really for cycling. I don't intend on buying Lycra. It's just the stigma around Lycra just puts me off plus I don't think it will be very flattering for my body shape <laughs> oh dear we well, can't say I'm not making an effort this gets quite well not flooded but paddly when it's high wind and you can see a lot of the shingle from the beach has washed up in the worst storms we have here and the shingle goes right across the promenade 
it can be quite fun and exciting. I've walked here in very high gale winds and um, yeah, it is lots of fun. In my mirror, I can see a wire, it'll be my microphone wire. Hope it's all secure, okay? I think so. So I bought the bikes to lose weight and well partly and to get me places but because I'm finding I can't ride too far I'm not really getting anywhere other than local places for now. Well I'm not the only one wearing shorts so you couldn't see did you? Yes, that guy walked past in shorts. So I'm not the only fool. I've got shorts on. I've already got slip-on shoes. They've got nice grip to them. And they do seem very stable on the, on the pedals. So I have no reason to think I need to change that. Um, I've got my kind of thin outdoor coat on over a t-shirt. I'm not cold. I'm not cold but as it gets later in the year I will be now technically this is the end of the cycle route but as there's no one here and they, just like other places everyone cycles down the towpath they shouldn't but when there's no one here it doesn't really matter see they got these nice rocks haven't been there for that long for people to sit on oh they closed the pier yeah I was told about that I'm not sure what they're going to do, but it's closed for now. I read an article about it. They called the pier an attraction. It's hardly an attraction. It's not much of a pier, but I like it. I go up it all the time when I'm walking. It's just pleasant, you know, to stand at the end, watch the boats go past, especially at high tide. But I would hardly say it's a visitor's attraction. I think they're just replacing their handrails. The towpath here, alongside the river, it's the River Arran by the way, um, it was, I don't know how many years ago, several years ago now, they redid all this. And even though I live about a mile and a half away from the river, all day long, for several months, you could hear bash, 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 when they was um, using a like, pneumatic, I don't know, bashing machine. <laughs> bashing something into the sea, I don't, into the water and into the ground. Oh dear. Yeah, this is quite fun. It looked horrific before I left home, but now I'm out. It's not so bad. Why is my cycling computer flashing at me? Does that mean I've stopped? I know it can detect when I've stopped, but no, it's still flashing. I thought, I think that's a GPS indication. Wow, these brakes are really squeaking. Once I'm home, I'll be reading up on the best way to dry disc brakes and clean up the bike. I know I've read it all before, but I need to refresh my brain. Right. I don't want to go on the road, so I'm just going to go back along the prop. I think this is a good enough test of things. Yeah, there's a few people out just looking at the sea. I've done that many times when I've been walking, just come along here in bad weather just to enjoy the waves. When you're all wrapped up with a hood and stuff, it's really nice. lady sitting in the shelter just back there probably enjoying the weather I don't know how slippery these tires will become when it's wet I don't plan on finding out well my cycling computer is still flashing and it's this the icons in the same place that the GPS indicator usually is so I don't know why it's flashing it can't be a battery it's fresh um, 
I hope it doesn't mean it's got water inside. It's basically water resistant or waterproof. It should easily stand the rain. Oh well, it's still working. It's a bit of a large puddle there, I think. You see these white, oh no, you, I keep wanting to tell you what I'm seeing, but you can't see it, can you? Tell you what, I'm gonna turn the camera around. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, I'll pause it. No, I won't pause it. I'll have to re-sync everything then. Let's just turn the camera around. Um, sorry about all the background noises that you're probably hearing. Right. Okay. I should have changed down gear first. What I'm going to do... <laughs> just for the sake of it I'm going to turn back and show you what I was going to show you if you're local you, you know all this anyway the well, camera's not crooked is it oh I'm just, oh. it's crooked I had this earlier I could not get it straight it didn't matter how many times I tried I could not get it straight why can't I get it straight I'm using a small rig handlebar mount um, not that, that not that that helps right let's try and straighten the thing up I think that's a bit better I think I'll just go back to the near the end I've got a wide bit I can turn around then without um, putting my feet down and looking incapable even though I am I've got an audio recorder in my pocket wrapped up in a sandwich bag to keep the rain out in a zip pocket. So I'm hoping there won't be any issue with that getting soaking wet because it wasn't cheap. I had it a while and haven't used it much. Oh, there's nothing behind me. These mirrors are brilliant. Well, I've just got one mirror. I recently got, well, yesterday or the day before, I got a replacement for the one I had, which was awful. But this one's nice. I can actually see behind me. Right, so little out of the promenade, just coming away from the river end. We've got the um the lifeguard hut on the right. And the uh, what's that thing called? A brazier or something? Not to be confused with a bra. I'm not sure what it's called. And on the left you've got these um <clears throat> Yeah, audio things, these white things. I think they're called stages. I'm sorry, but they're just ridiculous. They've been used once that I'm aware of, and that was the day they were opened. And you've got this rather beautiful shelter with this long bench running through it. Oh, goodness me, I've done a video on all that before. Oh, some more crazy cyclists. Oh, I'm glad they're pedalling as slow as I am. Oh. Was she thanking me? Then I didn't do anything, or was she thanking the person she overtook? Who knows? I'm quite fast now. Well, 10 miles an hour. <laughs> That's not fast, is it? I don't want to go too fast here because you get kids and dogs running out from the grass area. Not that you're going to today, but you never know. Uh, I do feel a little bit wobbly in this wind. Oh, just got soaked. These slip-on shoes I'm wearing, they're not, ugh, they're not supposed to be waterproof. I hope they dry. It's all I've got. I have, well, I've got some nice boots, walking boots that are waterproof, but I don't really fancy wearing them. Let me just concentrate here. Get over to this side. I don't fancy wearing the boots to cycle. I haven't tried yet, but the reason I haven't even tried is because I've hurt my wrist. It's hard to do certain actions with it, and one of them is doing up laces. So that's why I'm glad I already had these slip-ons. And they do feel nice and stable, but they don't feel like they're the wrong things. I'm sure someone will tell me they are. 
Well, if I ever start doing more serious riding all around the country, then I'm sure I'll be buying more suitable clothing. So we just go past the beach huts on the right. We're still technically Little Hampden, and it comes to the border of Rassington in a while. I have to decide what route to go to get home. Um, I just don't feel very comfortable in this wind going along the main seafront road because there are quite a few cars around. I mean, the weather might be bad, but people are still going to be driving home from work or whatever, aren't they? I'm not even sure what the time is. Maybe four, half four. <sighs> Nothing on here tells me the time. Anyway. So coming to the end of the beach hats, if I don't go straight on, and I have to go on the road then because the cycle path ends, then I'll have to go through the park. No. So I can go straight on, get in the road soon, but I'm, I'm wobbling all over the place. So if I go through the park, I can then go down quiet roads. Now we're coming up to the beach. Um, a pretty new cafe on the right. I've not been in there. People say it's quite nice. Another cyclist coming. The water treatment place on the left, which always stinks. Always stinks of sewage around here. He's wearing less than me, that guy who just went past. Good for him. And on the left now is Little Hampton Wave, which is a, well, it's a swimming pool, gym, leisure centre, kind of everything, I think. There used to be a swimming pool here, which has disappeared. But I've done a video on all of that. If anyone's interested in the area, please look back at my other videos. Now, do I go on the road? I'm just nervous. I'm just, I'm just nervous. It's changed down a few years, so I've been accelerate away. I've got to get used to doing that. And coming up on the left, point the camera at it, is the border from Little Hamden to Rustington. I'm not even sure if you can see what I'm trying to show you because I can't see the display very well. But that's the Rustington convalescent home, which has recently had a lot of scaffolding up. Um, they keep it nice. It's got a nice clock at the top that they've cleaned and uh, a bell in the bell tower. Now, I'm not comfortable on this road. I think I'm gonna go through the park. Ugh. Whoops, what happened there? I think I changed, I wasn't engaging the gear properly before I started pedaling. I think these gears are slightly out of alignment. It was missing a couple of gears earlier. So it's something I'm going to have to look at. And the front brake rubs as well, which I thought was a wheel alignment issue, but I think I've pretty much proven that it's not. It's just the brake pads need slight, oh my God, slight adjustment. <sighs> I still have to go on roads to get home, going through the park, of course, but it won't be like this road. I'll wait till it's completely clear. Well, just about anyway. Yeah, that car's a long way away. I can go across now. It's oh, the way that we came. I don't like these bumps. They're very small humps, but I really feel them on the saddle and on, in my wrists. It's nice that that gate's still open. It's been open since this morning. See, there is a no cycling sign, but there's no one here. There's no one here, no one running across. So I think I'm okay. I don't have a problem with people cycling slowly all the way through the park. I don't think it really matters as long as they're considerate. But for now, I, I just want to obey the rules. That's just me. I'm a goody two shoes. 
stop for this guy. Oh. Alright. <laughs> I'm looking out for a dog. I thought he might have had his dog behind him. Don't see one. Bit of a bump here. Bump, bump. Oh, God. I'm try. I try to avoid going down curbs like that because obviously my weight um, is pretty high for this bike, and any extra bumps give it give more chance of damage, especially to the back wheel. gonna take the bridle away in a minute well I think I am the trouble is turning right I just <laughs> I don't like turning right I'm not com I'm not comfortable enough with signaling and being a hundred percent sure there's nothing behind me and the mirror is now covered in rain all I can see and I'm see over my shoulder a bit but there's nothing coming Right, it looks like I shouldn't be ooh, be here, but it is a ride away, so I am. Thank you. Not enough room for me, I'm afraid. I had to put my foot down there. That was a bit embarrassing. At least they went single file. I didn't think they was going to for a minute. There's grass here, but I don't know how um, holy it is. Yeah, so this is a bridle way, so I can cycle here. But if there are people walking, I wouldn't, because there's just not the room. Coming back to Musebrook Park. This is where I'll stop, because not too far towards, not too far till I get home. Obviously, I don't want to show everyone where I live, because I'm so famous on YouTube and everyone loves me. So, <laughs> thanks for listening. Um, please subscribe to me. And, I'm, you know, if I get some positive comments, I'll do this more often and hopefully soon go to different places. I'm hoping I can work up to that at the moment. I'm just finding it a bit too difficult. But since you've been with me, I've done three miles, which isn't, which isn't a lot, I know. But I did 5.2 this morning, so I'm doing my best. Right, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you another time soon I hope, bye!